Thank you for catching the replay. It's cold in here today. <laughs> Doc Mindfulness. Hey, Go Trends. Thank you for joining. I'm so excited about today's topic. Like, really, really excited. Today's topic five tips to setting up a sales funnel that sells. Hey, Avery. Hi, Top Cat. I love the purple hearts. Always reminds me of Zach Spuckler. Hey, from Houston, Texas. Look, let me, let me click. I need to learn your name. Houston, Texas. Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn. Hey, how are you? I'm going to check out your profile. Let's see this. Purposeful physician. Awesome. Love that. Hey, <laughs> start younger. Is that Roman? I need to see your profile. Let me see if you have anything. If you listened to my advice. Yes. Roman, start at Start Younger, support and resources for beginner young internet entrepreneurs in their pursuit for connection, freedom, and clarity. Awesome. Hey, Journey. Hey. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh, look, my mom just joined. I always forget that, like, for me, it's here, but for you guys, it's actually here. So I got to point the opposite way. Or no, I, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to get confused with a mirroring flip. So... <laughs> I always shout out my mom and now I'm going to start shouting out Roman because I want him to get on Periscope and press the start broadcast button very soon because he's great on video size to diet hello who are you oh Christina oh you're you're signing on a, a different username hey I'm so glad you're on here yeah Roman uh, everybody wants you on Periscope I'm not the only one so let's let's get on Periscope so Today's topic, five tips to setting up a sales funnel that sells, is part of this 10 day, uh, 10 days of free content. Today's day five, so that's why I'm giving you five tips. Um, but secretly, I'm gonna give you way more than five tips because I just love this topic. Yeah, like I've seen you as Christina Tracy before, but right now it says size to diet, so I don't know. Hey, Funk Master. Oh, gee, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Roman, we want you on. Let's see, wait, before Funk Master goes away, I need to learn your names. Oh, you don't have a name on here. What's your name, Funk Master? I need to learn your name. Hey, Selena, thank you for sharing, Avery. So, yeah, I have way more than five tips today. Don't kill me, guys. I'm breaking the rules. <laughs> I've got more than five. Rich, 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 Funk Master Rich from St. Louis. Isn't LSU playing today? Someone was telling me about LSU playing today. I don't know why that came up. Retro Boutique. Hi, Retro Boutique. Arlene, digital business strategist for, and e-commerce tips. Awesome. Break the rules and bring it. Awesome. So I've already given, hey, Selena, I've already given days 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You can catch the replays and download them at bit.ly forward slash biz and tech. Thank you for writing the, the link down there. Thank you for inviting followers. That's my next step. If you know of anybody that wants to create a sales funnel, and actually, I have two people in mind. Um, actually, let me introduce myself first. My name is Katia Sarmiento. I'm the founder of reachandmakemillions.com. Thank you, Doc Mindfulness. Thank you, Rich, um, for sharing. Thank you, Roman, for sharing. And so I help holistic entrepreneurs and coaches build a thriving online business without tech overwhelm. So today's sales funnels are going to be specifically for the type of people, um, coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs that have no idea what a sales funnel is. They don't know how to, how to start, how to set one up. Um, and also uh, for the people that they know about sales funnel, sales funnels, but they don't really like the idea. And I'm going to offer some reframes. So please share this with anybody you know that needs help with sales funnels. I'm not going the... Um, I'm, I'm going to give my own perspective of sales funnels that has worked with my clients. I kind of explain sales funnels a tiny bit different. Um, I've done, I've learned like Digital Marketer and Frank Kern. I've done like a, a bunch of like internet marketing trainings, but I want this one to really make sense for somebody that has no idea what a sales funnel is. So please share with your Periscope followers, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Hi from Puerto Rico. Awesome. Cool. And you can follow me if you're not already following me. Click this guy over here. Follow me. Share it out. And please, I love all the hearts. I love you guys. Hi, Simone. Nice to have you here. And so if you're just joining us, I've been giving 10, I've been doing 10 days of, thank you for sharing, Journey. I've been doing 10 days of free content on Periscope. Actually, I don't even have the website up. Um, but here's the link for you guys to join. Uh, perfect. I pointed in the right direction. Yeah, and all of these 10 days are counting down to my webinar. 
I'm from Miami, Florida. And so the webinar is called Create a Website That Works in Six Weeks or Less Without Tech Overwhelm, and it's in five days. We're getting closer, you guys. It's on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, just like all of these scopes every day, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you've missed me, you missed day 10, which I talked about the 10 keys to success in your business. Day nine, nine questions to ask to figure out your niche. Day eight, eight places to find potential clients. Day seven, seven steps to creating a website that works. What if I have bad handwriting and can't draw? You don't have to have these. Like I didn't before, but like I just, oh, I've got a fortune like kind of slipped in here from a fortune cookie. I've got, I just, I just started making these cause I wanted to have fun with it. So, um, yeah, day seven, seven steps to creating a website that works. Day six was yesterday, six tools to help you make and manage money with ease. And today is five tips to setting up a sales funnel that sells. So here's the link to get the replays. And um, I know this has been a lot of information for you guys. So not only will you guys get the replay, but you'll get an email of me kind of recapping everything. Now I have to read the fortune. Okay. This one's good. <laughs> replays were awesome by the way peeps thank you real courage is moving forward when the outcome is uncertain really really important for me hence why i kept this fortune love this i actually have a cork board like in front of me so i'm going to put it up because i am unattached uh, actually for this launch i have no goal or attachment to an outcome i don't i, I don't have an income or a client goal i'm just launching to um with the intention of having a process, having a launch with ease and with joy, rather than I need to get this much money, this many clients, this many people on the webinar, whoops. And so really taking that fortune to heart. So awesome, thank you for inviting, thank you for being here. And so I'm gonna get right into this content, okay? <laughs> Lately I've been staying an hour and I have a feeling this one's gonna go up to an hour of just me teaching. So um, get your notebooks out. Somebody yesterday was like, notebook out and ready to take notes. Because this one, I'm going to really get it. This is my, I love this topic. Especially because like a lot of people come to me. A lot of coaches like, I want to make a website. Yes, yes, go trans, yes. So a lot of people say, oh, I want to make a website. But then it's like, I, I see them like hire a web developer or they make a website. And for what? What, like, what happens? Nothing. They don't get clients. They don't grow their business. They don't make money. They just kind of spent money and are spending more money on a website that's not working, which is why, thank you, I appreciate that, which is why my program, my coaching program is called Create a Website That Works. Hey, Stefan, so glad to have you here. Um, so yes, and please share it with anybody that you feel needs a reframe or some help with sales funnels, because I'm going to get really into it right now. Thank you for being here, you guys. It's your birthday? And I didn't know about it. Happy birthday. <laughs> like, you need to save these things. Happy birthday. Or wait. it's. I remember you guys posting about this. Journey and Stefan have birthdays together. Oh, okay. Okay, you guys scared me. I was like, I don't know your birthdays. And I, didn't, I wasn't celebrating all day. Okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are awesome. Thank you. So... Um, like I said, these are for. This is gonna be for people that have no idea what a sales funnel is, and I'm gonna explain what a sales funnel is. Or like, if you're not really like, and eh, like, I should have a sales funnel, but I don't, and I don't know how to start or what to do, or all of these things coming up. So it can be really, really simple, both the technology and the way it works. And so I'm gonna give you my definition of a sales funnel by telling you the three most important keys of the sales funnel and so a sales funnel basically like in the most basic terms ever is that you put this this potential client through kind of like what I call a journey I like to call it a journey step by step to like the first step is okay you made the connection you got their name and email address now how are you gonna build and nurture that relationship all the way to the point where they're ready to purchase from you or to invest in you or to buy something from you. That's what I think a sales funnel is. Um, especially for like holistic, personal growth, spiritual, holistic, like entrepreneurs and coaches. I feel like I like having a lighter way to explain it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Please catch the replay. Here's the link. I'm so glad you showed up and I love your support. I really appreciate it. So, 
When you think of a sales funnel as more for some of the investor needs to be trust, yes. And so it's more of a process of building a relationship. And I like to think of that rather than I'm trying to sell something. I'm trying to get this person to buy from me. As spiritual coaches, we wouldn't tell someone to put tons of energy somewhere unreliable. Yes, exactly. And so the number one key to a sales funnel is think of it as a journey that you're taking your client through. Just like they, they go through a journey or a process when working with you, like from point A to point B, it's a transformation, it's building the relationship. Sales funnel can be the same way. So, awesome. Thanks for catching the replay. Here's the link. I'm going to keep putting the link up because there's a ton of replays to catch after I'm done with the 10 days. So when you want to think of this journey, it's like, first off, you want to think about what's the purpose. Obviously, it could be like, um, you know, buying a product or a program, but it could also be like get on, get on the phone with someone for a free strategy session or discovery session. It could be to a webinar. So you could have a sales funnel, have a different purpose. Um, and then the next thing you want to think about are like, what are the, the milestones? What are the key points or the value or the knowledge that you're going to share to cover things like skepticism, um, objections, even before you try to sell something. I believe it's better to like talk to the skepticism and objections before you like put a money, like a money dollar sign or like try to sell something. And you can do this by adding value. Hello, Joey Giggles. That is an interesting name. I'm an internet radio. Oh, cool. You host the radio show. That's pretty cool. Thank you for being here. And so, um, so you want to make the selling happen by adding value first. <laughs> and so, like, I, I see that, okay, so here's what I see happen a lot. And, like, maybe it's by mistake, or maybe it's on purpose, I don't know. Oh, thank you for following me. But, like, I will subscribe to an email list, adding value first, yeah. I will subscribe to an email list and get a free guide, like a one-page PDF of a good, good content, yeah. But then they're like, buy this thing, buy that thing, buy this thing. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know you. <laughs> like, I don't know you. I don't know your business. I just know this one page PDF that you gave me. And it's okay. I haven't even had time to implement it between the email of you giving me the PDF and the email of you trying to sell to me. Like, give me a chance to implement this stuff. If you put value out there, it will come right back to you. Yes. Yes, it will. And so we're going over the five tips tonight, you guys. So don't keep count. But the three keys <laughs> about, um, hey, Zella74, tell me your names because I like meeting you guys and getting to know your names. So, yeah, <laughs> yes, date, date first. So think of it as a journey. Like you're, you're taking this person. So like this is what a sales funnel would look like. Um, they, they end up on a landing page. If you haven't put value out there, why would you expect people to give it in return, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, let's say someone finds you on a Facebook group or some social media, Facebook ads, or in person, or whatever, and they come up on your page to sign up for your newsletter. And let's say you're giving, like, a free PDF guide or something like that, right? The first part of the sales funnel now happening is that they, they just trusted you with their name and email address. Notice the keyword, trust. Like, I know it's easy to subscribe for a lot of newsletters. I, I know personally me, I love learning new things, so I subscribe to a lot of newsletters. But, like, this is an email address that, like, you can easily spam or you could be, like, a scammy service or you could sell their email. Like, there's trust going into this, even if it's a small percentage. Just trusted you with their name and email address. And now the first thing you're going to do is deliver that free guide or PDF that you just promised. For a lot of people, email is still a ton of trust, yes. Do I have a website? Yes, I do, reachmakemillions.com, but I would prefer if you went here so you can catch all of the free uh, content. I've been doing 10 days, today's day five. We're counting down to my webinar. Yes, yes, thank you for the link. <laughs> I think my mom has been sitting there with that link typed out waiting for me to mention it because she was talking about it the other day. She's like, I wanna type it out for you. My mom's awesome. <laughs> so everybody's typing out the link oh thank you journey i really appreciate that yeah i and i also upload all of my uh like regular periscope replays to my facebook group reach and make millions mastermind which you can also find on my website she's awesome make sure you follow her oh thank you guys thank you so um so yeah so once they've given you the name and email addressing you've delivered on the pdf don't start selling 
<laughs> That's when a sales funnel doesn't feel good, like when you're selling right off the bat. Actually, I'm not going to mention names, but uh, someone told me the other day that they were super unsuccessful with Facebook ads. I was like, what? I think I know what's going on here. My first assumption was correct. So I was like, okay. So when you did the Facebook ads, what did you do? And they were explaining all of this and complaining about Facebook ads. I'm like, okay, wait, no. What, my, what I meant by my question was, what was the Facebook ad leading to? They're like, oh, I was leading to a sales page of a $2,000 program. I'm like, how can you expect people that like you're randomly showing up because they were reaching out to a cold audience. There's, and there's the, the thing about cold audience and warm, cold and warm leads. Warm leads know you better, so maybe it's okay to send them to a, a sales page, but I still wouldn't do that. And then the cold audience, they have no freaking clue who you are, and you're trying to shove this $2,000 program down their throat. It's like not going to work. So I was like, no, don't do that. You're not going to get any names and email, email addresses. You're not going to start any, co uh, any connections or relationships, and you're not going to get a sale. Of course Facebook ads didn't work for you. Yes, <laughs> you know. Well, you know, like they, like they didn't know. So, but that's okay. They learned. They got feedback. So, there's a whole like, like that's why I see like either people have no idea where to start with sales funnels because they're like overwhelmed and like I need to sell something, and well, and, and I will talk about technology in a little bit too. That's another thing. I do think the analogy of thinking about trust works so well. Yeah. Hey, random person, buy my $1,000 program. Yeah. <laughs> no, it does not work that way. Yes, you're right, Go Trends. Yeah. So, like, and then there's also, like, the people that feel like the sales funnel is too pushy. 2000 is much, such a massive level of trust for an introduction to yourself. Yes. Yes, it is. And honestly, like, look, I, I have never sold a low-priced product. My program is $2,000, coaching program. And I've been selling that, but I build relationships with people first. I get, I don't like just like people can't just randomly buy my $2,000 program. You need to get on the phone with me. You have to be a good fit. Like I have to like you and your business. <laughs> you have to like me and my business, but I give you all of the resources on my website to do that. And here on Periscope, this is, it's as simple as just showing up and giving value. It's that simple, that simple. Like, this could be my sales funnel, like, indirectly. Like, okay, you're on my Periscope, and you just go to my website, and then you find my program, and then you opt in, like, you uh, apply for a free strategy session, and then you buy my program. That was very passive. I didn't have to do much except for show up to Periscope, right? And it's happened. Yes, and having integrity. Then you can have a very intentional sales funnel, and I will show you three different types of sales funnels that you can have in a little bit. So, um, so yeah. So three keys, think of it as a journey, like think of the purpose, like what are you trying to sell? You do have to sell something. This is super valuable content. Thank you. Yes, if you're liking this, they, yes, Stephen, you beat me to it. Please share, because now I'm going to start talking about the technology setup of sales funnels and three different types of sales funnels that you can try out. So please share it with your Periscope, Facebook, and Twitter followers. And I love all the hearts. Thank you, guys. And yes, that's the link to check out, uh, to get the replay, to get the other replays. Because everything ties in together. Like, like the, the webinar is create a website that works, but all of this comes into play. Thank you, Joey Giggles. I love your name for inviting. Thank you, Journey. Welcome, Tiffany. I love you guys. Thank you. I really, really appreciate the shares and the hearts. So, three keys. Think of it as a journey. Add value. Make selling happen by adding value. Thank you, Chad, for inviting. Thank you. Sonia's dad for inviting. I heart my soul, soul shared. Thank you for posting the links. <laughs> my mom's on it tonight. She's really posting the links tonight. That's awesome. So journey, add value, and keep it simple. Pink hearts. I love. I'm wearing pink. I'm wearing pink today. I normally don't wear pink. So keep it very, 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 very simple. I just explained a very indirect sales funnel technically through Periscope and my website. And like, you know, I, I'm on my, on my website, I make it easy for people to find where they're, what they're looking for. And so some tools that you can use, and I'll, I'll tell you what I use. I use clickfunnels.com. Um, I have an affiliate link, but like, I don't really care right now. <laughs> like I care about teaching you guys this stuff. So clickfunnels.com handles all of my sales funnels and membership areas. I've been getting a lot of questions about both of these topics. I might one day do a workshop on membership areas alone because I get a lot of questions on that. But ClickFunnels has, your website is beautiful and efficient. Love your landing page. Thank you. Value and transparency are key. Crushing it. Thank you, guys. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are so sweet. 
So ClickFunnels has my webinar sales funnels, has um, my uh, regular like uh, freebie sales funnels. Yes, Roman's here. I'm trying to get him on Periscope and like I like uh, on Q and A. If Roman has some cues that I can a, I couldn't get on. I couldn't get on it from my phone. Couldn't get on what on your phone? <laughs> Thank you. Click, C L I C K funnels, the web, the website. This website should work. Try out this website or reach and yeah, clickfunnels.com. Yeah. I think it's like 97 bucks a month though. So like honestly, and then the other resource I was going to say is lead pages. But honestly, you can keep it as simple as this. You have your website and I on day 7 I taught seven seven god, seven seven steps to I can't remember if it's tips, things, tools, what is it? Every day it's something different. Seven steps to creating a website that works. Yes, leadpages.net. Periscope changing lives for the best. Yeah. So, like, you can do ClickFunnels, which is 97 bucks a month. Lead pages, I'm not sure how much it is, but a lot of people love it and use it. Or you could just have your website and use MailChimp. I use Squarespace, which is $10 a month. And then MailChimp, you do need to upgrade MailChimp for 10 bucks a month to get the autom automated, the automation feature. Cool. Lead pages is 25 a month. I use it. It's great, but it, it's expensive. Yeah. So, this could be simple. You just have your MailChimp opt-in on your website, offer a free guide, and then do the automation series through MailChimp. Your website is super cute. Could you start with which WordPress theme? I'm actually on Squarespace. I'm not on WordPress. Paid up front and 37. Lead pages is paid up front and then 37 monthly. Okay. So look, I'm going to talk. Let me go. Let me go right into actually three different types of sales funnels you can do. And you can use the different tools. But look, here's a simple sales funnel yes I love Squarespace so if you're on Squarespace or if you're on WordPress or whatever you can do this you just need MailChimp 10 bucks a month nothing else so on your website you will have a page called a landing page or a lead page or an opt like opt-in page freebie page whatever you want to call it it is the page um, What's the advantage over WordPress? I'm going to write that down and talk about that afterwards. Squarespace advantage specifics are helpful. Yeah. Advantage over WordPress. Okay. So simple sales funnel. Thank you. Thank you. So you have this page where you are basically talking about the freebie. It could be a free guide, PDF guide, audio, video, email series, whatever you want. And you offer this for free just to get their name and email address. And you can literally just copy and paste the MailChimp opt-in box on your website. It doesn't have to be pretty yet. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I love Squarespace. I have a lot to say about that. Lead magnet, ethical bribe, freebie, whatever you want to call it, same thing. You're just giving something. Uh, and and then here's the other thing about these freebies, lead mag magnets, whatever. You want it to be like, it solves one tiny problem um, and that it can be actionable. I like to think of it as a good first date. Yes, <laughs> I love that one. And so you have this opt-in on your web page. Make it memorable and fun. Yes, 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 yes. And actionable because like a freebie sucks if it's not actionable and if it just like overwhelms people. So they put their name and email address and it jo they join your list. So they are added to a list on MailChimp. And then in MailChimp, you have this feature called automation. And so within automation, you can create a series of emails that go to these people once they subscribe. Give people some type of result through the freebie, the biggest value you can add right away. Yes. And so, and here's the difference. I, I could do a whole masterclass on MailChimp too, because there's a difference between campaigns and automation. Campaigns are like if you're sending like a weekly newsletter that will send to the current subscribers. So like, let's say you subscribe to my newsletter today and I send a monthly newsletter on the first, you missed November 1st newsletter. So you'll, the next one you'll get is December 1st newsletter. That's campaign. So whoever's currently in your list will get the email, but then people that subscribe after you've already sent the email will not get it. The good thing about automation is that every single person that subscribes will get those emails. So, 
let's say you have like and here's the emails I usually recommend to my clients so someone subscribes to your list they automatically get put into this automation series on MailChimp literally ten dollars a month super simple super cheap and what happens is uh, I recommend having a welcome letter campaigns broadcast emails yeah so um, and I'm trying to keep it like very simple terms and, because there's a bunch of terms and a bunch of different ways to say it. But just like so you guys understand. If you guys are confused, let me know because I will re-explain it in a different way. Um, I want you guys to understand this. So I recommend sending out a welcome letter first immediately when they subscribe. And MailChimp lets you put that, like send immediately, first email. And say, hey, congrats, welcome. You took the first step to solving this problem that you're having. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Welcome to the community. Join my Facebook group if you want to offer your Facebook group. Here's the freebie in the PDF, audio, video, whatever lead magnet free offer that you were giving. Thank you. Um, and so, and then introduce who you are. Introduce what you do. Introduce your vision, your beliefs. Like this is the time to get heartfelt and really, really like this is who I am. And you are part, like, I, I welcome you into my world. This is your this is your world. This is you making this connection. Um, so, like, kind of cover the basics, kind of like a first date or when you're first meeting a friend. It's like, okay, this is what I'm about. This is what I do. This is who I help. This is how I can help you. Here's my vision and my beliefs. How many automated emails do you use? I'm crazy, and I send a bunch of automated emails, but my clients usually make, like, five. Um, the, or maybe, like, seven. So then after the welcome email, you give them the PDF. And here's a secret. I really like these next two emails. The next emails is exactly six hours later. You have a seven day challenge. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect for this. So, um, but like, even if you don't, cause some people don't have the content for a seven day challenge. Um, so like you can just, the first email is a welcome email and you give the, the, the freebie. Then six hours later, you're like, Hey, um, I know a lot of emails end up in spam, so I just wanted to check in and see if you got it, if you got your PDF freebie or your video freebie. If not, here's the link again, and please email me back and let me know that you actually got it. What this does, first off, when people email you, especially in Google, it lets Google know that like your email is safe and it won't end up in spam as often. And two, they're reaching out to you through email open invitation to write back and say, oh, thank you. Like, read, send a personal thank you. Having them reply whitelist to you. Yes, yes it does. And then I go the extra mile because not everybody responds to that. Literally a day later, I say, hey, you know, I'd love to know what you're struggling with. Yeah, it is smart. Um, I wish I remember where I learned this from, but it's, it's been a while. So then after the welcome email, after the six hour spam check-in, I send a question. Also lets them know you read and respond, yes. So this one, this email, I, I say kind of like, which is huge in your emails getting opened, yes. No, it wasn't Rory. I don't know who that is. Um, there's a lot of people that talk about this. So this email, this third email is sent a day later and I'm like, hey, look, you already know what I do and kind of like repeat it again. It's like, what are you struggling when it comes to blank? What are you struggling when it comes to creating a website that works? email me and if you're just starting off and you have zero on your list you can say eat, hit reply tell me what you're struggling with and I will send you a personal response now if you have a ton of people on your list and you can't always respond be transparent be like hey I read them all and I try to respond as as much as possible thank you so much this helps me with another problem I have awesome perfect this is great so now you've got these three emails to really, really start that connection. We're connecting with someone. You've got the name and email address and you've welcomed them and you've thanked them for joining you, for trusting you. And you kind of open up and share your, a little bit about yourself and you give them what you promised, the free lead magnet, ethical bribe, whatever. Then you have a six hour spam check-in to make sure that they got the email. Maybe it did end up in spam, you never know. Make sure they get that freebie, you link the freebie again. I'll answer that in a blog post coming up, yes, or on a scope. Hey, you, 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 like, that's perfect. Yeah, and then, so this is welcome email sent immediately, spam check-in sent six hours later, and then a day later, ask them a question, what are you struggling when it comes to X? 
got the other genius. Thank you. And if they email you, like I've gotten really long responses and I return, I would return a really long response. Okay. And I will uh, like keep adding that value. And then honestly, like you can, you can stop there if you want and continue. Like if you have like a weekly newsletter that will add value. Um, so you've kind of like onboarded them really well. But if you want to continue to like, if you like, if the purpose of this sales funnel is to sell something uh, or get them on, like, let's say, let's say this one's to get them on a free strategy session because we want to lead them into a coaching program. Then you'll want to send two to three emails in between. This is the best advice ever. So simple. Awesome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I really did. I sent out way more emails than I should have, though. I overwhelmed people. So I'm actually I paused my automation and I'm redoing it. Uh, <laughs> hashtag I love Katya. That's so sweet. Yeah. So like literally you can stop right there and have those three emails and then continue to nurture the relationship with your campaigns, with your weekly, monthly newsletters. Mine leads for into a 30 day free course and then a paid. Perfect. And am I gonna actually, I, this is just one sales funnel. I've got two more for you guys. So there's different examples that you can use for uh, courses or products. So in this one, you, if this is like maybe for like a coaching package or something, you can send two to three more emails adding value, either like every two or three days, every week. I like every two to three days, just as long as your content is very like, so like here's the format of the emails. I'm actually going to pull up a document because um, I, I do, I help this with my clients in our copywriting calls. Let me just pull someone up. Okay, so here's the format of these emails, two to three emails adding value. So you've got the welcome email, six hour spam check in, and then asking a question, hey, like, hey, what are you struggling with? And then two to three days later, you send an email, and here's the format of this email that you're adding value to this person. What, why, how, action, frame. And I'm gonna go into details about this. So the what immediately just summarize what this email is about like people get a lot of emails you want to make sure like hey are are you interested in this or not like like is what is this about be clear okay like i'm tired of reading through an entire long form email and still having no clue what it's about or what the purpose is so the what and the why are really important like here's what this is about this is what i'm teaching you today and why should you care why is this important for you to read this email right now um, because if, if you don't like really show them why it's important, like they're not going to care about like what you do and what you have to say unless it's important to them. So like make it clear. Then you teach some, something, something very small and actionable. Like don't be afraid to give your best stuff away. Just make sure that they can actually take action on it by the next email that they get. So, um, like for health coaches. Let me, let me outline a health coach sales funnel and like I've done many of these, so it's going to look the same, just different people, different, and you might have the same type of content. It's just the way you teach it is different. So for a health coach, they might have a free healthy shopping guide for you to print out and take to Whole Foods, right? That's the freebie and the welcome letters like, thank you. Click here to download your PDF, join the Facebook group, fit and inspired by Ryan Clarkin. I love his group even though it has nothing to do like with what I'm talking about right now, but check him out. Really cool Facebook group. Roman has a Facebook group, Start Younger. I have my Reach and Make Millions Mastermind, Kim Raluna Freedom Hackers, Zach Spucker Heart Soul Hustle. Facebook groups are awesome too um, and can go very well with your sales funnel. So you've got the Facebook group and the freebie, six hour spam check-in, did you get it? Yes, no, here's the link to the free shopping guide again. Hey, so third email, what are you struggling when it comes to eating healthy? Great, great way to, like, when people answer this question, this is how you come up with content. Then the next email, two to three days later, it's like, hey, so how are you enjoying your free shopping guide? Have you gone out to Whole Foods and actually, like, bought some things? How's your experience? So in this email, I want to add on to that shopping guide and talk about the five foods that cause you fatigue, that, that make you really tired. And I'm going to give you... Um, different options, different types of foods for you to try for you to feel more energized. 
So stay tuned. And this is really important because like I know as an entrepreneur, as a coach, like you have a big mission and you have a lot to do. You have a really big to do list and you can't afford to just be tired all day. You know, you have to be energized for your client calls. You have to be energized for your work. So this is really important. So please keep read on, like keep reading on, right? That was the what and the why. Now the how. So they're going to talk. I don't, I'm not a health coach, <laughs> so I'm not going to try, even try. But you teach the five, like you tell them the five foods that like surprisingly make you tired. And then the, ne the next part is the action step. So you'll teach them the five foods that they can try that actually give them energy and the action step will be something small and doable, not overwhelming. So it could be something like, hey, so I taught you the five foods, just pick one and try eating it for the next couple of days and I'll check on you in a couple of days with another uh, tip and that's framing. That's the last step, frame what you talked about because you're just adding on to each piece of content. So hey, next time, this is what I'm gonna talk about and it's gonna help you from what I just talked about today. So you do two to three of those emails with small action steps and you end it with a very simple pitch. Like, hey, um, sorry, technical difficulties. I'll have to watch the replay for what I missed. No problem. I think you already signed up, but I will be recapping this in the email and giving you, and giving you notes. So don't worry about it. And you've got the replay. You've got the notes. So um, awesome. So you've got, you've got the welcome email spam check-in asking the question what they're struggling with. Yes, thank you for the link. Um, and then you've got two to three. You could have as many emails as you want adding value, but two to three is a good amount. And then that the last email is basically like, hey, if you liked this content, um, you know, let's get on the phone together and see like how I can help you. If you've been taking action, if you've been reading all my emails and implementing everything and you're seeing results, like let's get on the phone and like jumpstart you. I'm back now, just got kicked out for a bit. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. There's still a lot more information to, to talk about here. So now at this point, they know who you are. They got your free guide and they implemented. They got your two to three emails and implemented that. And if they are actually taking action, they should be seeing results. They should be seeing, hi, hi, Dr. Nikki, welcome. You like just jumped into like the middle of the, of the, <laughs> of the Periscope content because I'm really deep in this stuff. Oh my God, it's already 8.37. I've been talking for almost 40 minutes and I still have two more sales funnels. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining. This is gonna be insane. This is gonna be a crazy scope, okay, you guys? So um, so yeah, so once they have all this value and they're seeing results because you're giving your best value, they're gonna be like, heck yeah, I wanna work with you. If this is what I get from just these like emails, imagine what working with you will look like. So these people will get on your free strategy session and they're like, how do I pay you? Like, let me pay you now. Like, it's happened to me. It's happened to some of my clients. So, you have to, but like, the mistakes you can make in a sales funnel is selling too much too soon, overwhelming people with content that they can't implement. The scope is overflowing with value. Don't even worry about the time. I know. I said these scopes are going to be 15 minutes, and these past three ones have not been. So, but this is good stuff. This is good because this is really, really important. Especially like if you do have something to sell. Like, and, and you're feeling like icky and pushy and like kind of scared of selling. This came up yesterday. This is a great way. It happens automatically. And like, yeah, I know, right? And like, even better, if they reach out to you in email for the six hour spam check in or the question, that's amazing because you can just have a conversation through email. They don't even need the two to three emails. You can be adding value manually, typing out emails and starting a conversation and be like, hey, let's get on the phone and chat. You know, so this is a great way. So that was a that was a simple sales funnel, and by simple I mean like the the hardest part is coming up with the content. My worst experience with a sales funnel ever: guy who gave super complex health tips in his funnels. Yeah, be careful. Don't overwhelm people. Like very small action steps. I think I overwhelmed people with my sales funnel. Fifteen ingredient recipes and complex, expensive products. Yeah, yeah. I I think I and you know what? You learn by taking action, so it's totally okay. I was overwhelmed from email one, never made it to the cell. Yeah. But it's feedback. And that's actually great feedback. Like, I would email that person and be like, hey, this is overwhelming. Can you kind of dial it down? That would probably help him a bunch. Maybe he doesn't notice it. I didn't notice it until someone told me, like, that's a lot, Kat. Do you ever call out that you're using automated emails? Yeah. 
in the third email, I say I, I put some funny PSisms like this is an automated system because like I really can't write to everybody, and they know that, and I just make it funny and fun. Like, hey, you're still special, but this is an automated thing. And we all have different audiences. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, people know when I'm sending them automated and personal emails. Like, if you reach out to me, like, for the spam checking or the struggle and I respond to you, you'll, you'll get, like, my, so, my help desk email signature versus, like, a newsletter. Because my newsletters have, like, a banner image and then specific text and then, like, my bio at the bottom and social links and stuff. And I, I mentioned it right at the start. Like, oh, that was the other part about welcome emails is set expectations. Like, be like, hey, um, you just got this free, prod, uh, free PDF or whatever, and I'm going to send you five more emails to add more to this free product so you have a great experience with it. Plus, I'm going to send you monthly newsletters, weekly newsletters or whatever. Plus, I'm going to update you on any trainings or webinars or Periscopes or whatever I have. And... Um, and yeah, here's what you can expect, what type of content you can expect from me. Also, an automated, I tell people that it is automated, but not everyone will reply. Most won't, yeah. I actually get a lot of replies, surprisingly, to encourage them to reply despite the fact that it's automated. Yeah, yeah. So that was a simple sales funnel. Someone joins your list, you do an automation with MailChimp, which is 10 bucks a month. I'll still be reading and replying live. Yeah. Um, so they join your list. You have the automation series going out to them. It could, it's, you've got the welcome email, the six-hour spam chicken, the question with the struggle, two to three value emails, and then offer them to get on the phone with a free strategy session or something, whatever you're, you're trying to sell. Um, uh, oh, and I'm glad Stefan invited you too. Thank you for being here. And then, and so that's how you can sell like a coaching package or maybe like a, uh, like, I like I I go I've I've always just sold coaching packages. I'm just now getting into products because like I want to reach more people. So here's the second um, sales funnel that I like for products. Zach Buckler does this really well. So actually, I'm just gonna kind of outline what Zach does and what I'm like probably gonna do soon and what I have been talking to a couple of clients that want to do this. Oh, thank you for inviting. Yes, if you're enjoying this content, please, please share with your followers. I'm not done. I don't even feel close to done explaining these sales funnels. So if you want some people in here, time to share. We're going to get into the good stuff. And thank you so much for the hearts. Yes, I love Zach so much. Awesome, awesome. I know, right? And then, oh, and on the back, I've got the link because this is 10 days of free content. I offer free sessions all the time on Periscope and elsewhere, and people take me up on, but a lot of people save that for later in a sales funnel. Even your boyfriend is listening and loving it. Awesome. Zach does Facebook ads. Yes. Is that too much trust too early? Any opinion, guys? My free sessions have an intake form. It's like applying. to like It's a long application. If someone fills that, out that application, I know they are showing up and ready to do the work. So maybe have an intake form. Having that will, will make you feel better. And hey, if it's working for you, it's working for you. You don't need to change anything. Okay? Um, yeah, like, don't try, like, if it's not broken, you don't need to fix anything. And that's not the quote, but, like, I'm, I'm getting it so wrong. I'm, like, all into the sales funnel stuff. I'm, like, ready to go to the next one. So check out this link for the, um, because I, this is day five, five tips to setting up a sales funnel that sells. It's honestly, like, a million tips right now. <laughs> so thank you so much for shares and hearts. I switched my focus recently, so I'm offering multiple free funnels before I sell. Awesome. I get so many insights from your free sessions. Yes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, if it works, it works. Even the people who aren't a good fit, I take notes on what they have. Yes. So there's some people that fill out my application, and I still get on the phone with them. And I, I know from the application they're not a good fit. I just get on the phone with them. I hear them out. I see how I can help. I offer them a recommendation. I learn about them. I build a new connection, a new relationship. It's awesome. Right now, I'm all free funnels. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. If it's working, awesome. So actually, let me get into to, um, two more sales funnels. The next one is kind of like good for like a product. The free sessions with people who aren't a good fit help me learn how to position. Yes. Yes, exactly. I actually sent an open invitation to unsubscribe to my old list. It was like, here's what I'm doing. Yes, when I rebranded, I did that. What do people who don't want to buy have in common? A lot, it turns out. Yeah. Yeah, so 
let's say you're Zach Buckler and you're a professional in Facebook ads, or if you want to go to heartsoulhustle.com and get his Facebook ads course, go get it because he's awesome. So you can do a Facebook ad um, or just, again, oh, thank you for sharing, Diana. Or just like post on social media or share with people, what, however you tell people about this. Again, you're offering a lead magnet, a free PDF guide, audio, whatever you want to do. Let's say it's a PDF guide, right? I think Zach Spuckler does a PDF guide. Thank you, Doc Mindfulness, for inviting followers. I love you guys. So, here's what's going to happen. This, is, this would be good if you had lead pages or click funnels because now it gets a little bit more complicated. So you'll have this landing page that kind of explains what this free PDF is about and collects their name and email address. So we put the name and email address and click sign up. I do prefer, prefer a sales funnel that offers something immediately to those that make you wait for the webinar with no instant gratification. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I have these 10 days of free content because I can't even wait, okay? <laughs> I can't wait to tell you guys these things. So immediately when this person puts the name and email address and clicks sign up, it takes them to another page immediately because we all love instant gratification, yes. So this one will take them to another page, which is basically like a sales letter, which is just a sales page you're selling like a low cost product, like seven to $12. And like, this is called a trip wire. Uh, you can learn how to do this at digitalmarketer.com also. This is where I learned it from. And so like this very small product, seven to $12 can offset your Facebook ads cost or just like bring in some income. But the whole point is that they're, the first they trusted you with the name and email address. And then if they trust you with a seven to $12 product, that trust is building. That relationship is building. You're still adding value. I like adding value before I make a sale. So I like that. Like if, if I were to make a sales page for my seven to $12 product, I would add value first. I would teach them something real quick. First I'd say, Hey, you're going to get your free PDF guide in the email. But while you're waiting, here's a quick tip that you can try out right now if you want. And along with this quick trip, well, quick, tip <laughs> here is something that you can purchase that's going to help you with this small specific problem also it's seven to twelve bucks here's the again you can, it can't be overwhelming it can't be this huge problem it has to be something really really small like i wouldn't do this for creating a website i would do this like what would i do this for like maybe something like small like teaching mailchimp like how to grow your list, like how to get 100 subscribers in a week. I don't know if that's possible, but something something like very specific and something doable. I don't know if that's doable. Like make sure it's doable. Make sure you've done it or that like you, you know your clients have done it. Something small and doable, 7 to $12. So they've got the free PDF guide. They just purchased the 7 to $12 um, dollar product. And then you're going to say do the same two to three value emails in the automation. And at the end, you can sell a product like at 97 bucks, 197 bucks, something small. All of this will be about a topic. So Zach's topic is Periscope. Hi, Jag. Thank you for joining here. You're like joining in the middle of heavy content. Okay. So like if you want to catch the replay and I have 10 days of other content, this is day five. We're counting down to my webinar. Check out this link because you, you're in the deep end right now when you joined. <laughs> So, yeah, so that's like what it would look like. And so Zach does this with Periscope, like rock your scopes. That's the end. That's the purpose of the sales funnel to sell that. He does some Facebook ads leading to a, a pair. Like, I, don't, I don't remember what it was because I subscribed a long time ago. But let's say it's like get started on Periscope now really quick in like one hour. Get started on Periscope in an hour. PDF guide. Download for free. Put your name and email address. They put their name and email address. They go to a sales page. Thank you for subscribing. Um... While you wait for the email, here's like a quick tip about Periscope. Like here are my favorite tools to use on Periscope. One, two, three, four, five tools. This is about making money using Periscope. No, this is this is how to set up a sales funnel, but I'm giving an example of a sales funnel right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Zach has a really great Periscope uh, uh, product. Really cool. So like, let's say he gives those five tips, and then at the end he's like, hey, I've got this whole workbook to help you get started on Periscope, like like outline your content for the next 30 days. Buy it now for seven to 12 bucks. Cool. Yeah, Zach is very helpful with Periscope. 
Yes, I love him. And then so they buy that 7 to 12 product. They get the free guide, get started on Periscope. They've already gotten the tech tips. They freaking love you right now, okay? And then you add two to three more value emails. And I'm not saying this is how Zach does it. I'm just coming up. Zach Spuckler, heartsoulhustle.com. Heartsoulhustle.com. Roman, he's in Beach Room Brand You with me and Kim Raluna and stuff. I'll tell you later after we talk. Um, and so, so yeah. And then so you do two to three value emails adding on that. And then he sells your Rock Your Scopes course for I don't know how much. Let's just say it's 200 bucks. I would buy it. I did buy it. <laughs> I think I did buy it. So, like, it works. And it's simple. You can use lead pages or click funnels to do all of that. Heart, soul, hustle. Don't forget the soul in the middle of heart and hustle. Perfect. So those were, so, so far, let's kind of like back up. So far, I've given you three keys to the sales funnel. You, ha you like have my complete attention. Yes. Three keys to the sales funnel. I've given you three tools for sales funnel. We're above five tips, you guys. I'm sorry, not sorry. I told you a simple sales funnel using just MailChimp and your website. Now I told you a, a quick, small product sales funnel using like the 7 to $10, $12 that's a tripwire and a low price product. The last one is a, a webinar sales funnel, which I learned from Frank Kern. I freaking love him. Um, so this one's going to be cool. So much value. Yes, if you're loving this, please share. I've got one more sales funnel. Thank you for inviting Diana. And I'm so glad this is helpful to you guys. Thank you for all the hearts. Thank you for all the shares. I really, really appreciate this. I want this information needs to get out. Yes, heartsoulhustle.com. He's awesome. And if you want to catch the replay, because I know this is a lot, here's the link. bit.ly forward slash biz and tech. Thank you for inviting followers, Stefan. So here we go. This is from Frank Kern's Ultimate Webinar Blueprint, and it works like magic. I was shocked. Like, when I first did it, thank you for posting the link. When I first did it, I was in huge perfectionist mode. So, like, I procrastinated it. Oh, you can fast forward replays now. I thought, I thought that was only on the computer. I'm not sure. But I upload my replays anyways, like, to YouTube. And, like, I share them so people can have them. So, um, so yeah, so when I did Frank Kern's Ultimate Webinar Blueprint, I was in perfectionist mode, I was procrastinating, and then I had to do it really last minute because I scheduled my webinar and it was happening. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I need to get a freaking phone. iPhone, yeah. So, like, I did, I did his blueprint terribly, and it worked, okay? So here's what, it, what I did. I did Facebook ads. Periscope.tv, reach and make millions to fast forward on replays. And, and, and this link gives you all the replays so you can have them and watch them. You can fast forward because it's on YouTube. So go to this link and get the replays. But, but like after they expire because I've got 10 days of content. Um, I don't want you guys to miss out on this. So I did Facebook ads about my webinar. Create a website that works in six weeks or less without tech overwhelm. My landing page is on ClickFunnels. Then, thank you for posting the links. The, the links. Can we be Perry Pals? Yeah, sure, for sure. Oh, if you're not already following me, go here. Okay, so Facebook ads to my webinar to a landing page that says the date of my webinar, the information, put your name and email address. They put their name and email address to sign up for the webinar, and it takes them immediately to a page, just like the other funnel we just talked about, and it has a video. And this is what Frank Kern calls a video sales letter. And so this video sales letter teaches something really quick again. It adds value having to do with the webinar. So my webinars create a website that works. So the, this video sales letter talks about building your brand, because I feel like it's very important to be clear on what you're about, what your brand is, how to design before you start actually making the website. So I teach the, the main steps for building your brand and then I sell a product called Build Your Brand for three payments of $97. So if we do the math, $291. That totally offsets the cost of my Facebook ads and I offer a 30 day guarantee. Um, so I usually don't offer refunds but for this I just, I listen to Frank Kern because he's, he's, I love him. So we've already done Facebook ads. I think I spent $600 on Facebook ads. 
This is before the webinar. Yeah, Facebook ads to the webinar registration. They register for the webinar and it takes them to this page with the video and a link, a, a, a payment button to pay the three payments of $97 and they immediately get their product. Immediately. Then, before the webinar, you're, you send what he calls an indoctrination series. All it is is two videos adding value, uh, talking about their skepticism, talking about their objections, teaching small actionable things to prepare them for the webinar. Two videos. So they're paying for a product before the webinar. Yes, four people bought. Out of 250 something registrants, four people bought that product. So if I add up the total, I made 1164 before the webinar and I spent $600 on ads for those 250 registrants. And then 75% showed up on a Saturday. I was expecting like nobody to show up on a Saturday, okay? Everybody was telling me a Saturday is the worst day to do a webinar. 75 people showed up. And it's because you have those two videos before the webinar, reminding them about the webinar, teaching them some really great value, really getting them like prepared and excited for that webinar. Two videos. So you have a couple of sales to pay for the Facebook ads. Yeah, yeah. Then you've got the webinar and you pitch a product. I actually pitch a coach, my coaching program, $2,000. And so I teach my entire system before I even pitch. So on the webinar, they can take my system, go run with it, and do it themselves. No problem. No problem with me because I just helped 75 people that showed up. And it's a two-hour webinar. My, hour, my webinar is two hours. So they can take everything from the product that they bought, from the two videos before the webinar, and the one hour of the webinar itself where I teach and be okay. And I'm happy because I know they're going to create a website that works. And they're going to be good. But then for the people that need extra help, I pitch, I sell my program, they can set up a free call with me to make sure they're a good fit, and then I do Q&A, and I answer all, all and any questions about anything, like, I don't hold back. I feel like this, like, don't give your good stuff is complete BS, like, give your best stuff, really help people, like, these these 75 people showed up and gave me two hours of their time, I'm going to give them my best content and I'm going to make sure that they can go run their business successfully with or without my help. If they need my help, they'll come and they'll purchase my $2,000. They'll invest in, in the $2,000 coaching program and work with me and we'll get them jump started, right? I have no attachment to that. Yeah. Yeah, people see through that shit. <laughs> give your good stuff. Yes. So... Then, we're not done, after the webinar, you have two more videos. Two more videos. Giving them more value. Because here's sometimes what I see. After a webinar, it's a bunch of emails and stuff trying to sell me on the product that I didn't buy on the webinar. Like, hello, if I didn't buy it on the webinar, why are you going to bug the living shit out of me? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so funny so yeah so it's like I add even more value so hey here's what you learned from the build your brand video sales letter wh whether you bought or not from the product if you bought it I'm not doing the I'm not doing the product this time I'm really staying focused on coaching right now so no one bought the product this webinar it was last webinar um, then you get two videos where I teach you two different things before the webinar then you've got a two-hour webinar where I'm teaching you everything I know then you've got and then I, I do have scarcity right I have a week you have a week to sign up for my coaching program and within these two weeks I do have reminders but the first thing I do is send them two more videos adding value yeah keep giving value regardless of the sales funnel it makes all the difference and yes urgency is key but I don't want to be pushy like hey if this is a good fit for you you have this is my boundary you have this week to decide and I'm going to keep giving you value. I'm going to be here on the phone. I'm going to be here answering questions until you're ready. Hey, oh, I missed, I saw, I saw that you're new to the, my scope, but I missed the comment. Uh, but welcome. Thank you for being here. If you continue to add massive value, you can charge massive prices. Yeah. So please no fake er and just, Yeah, exactly. Um, and also don't make the mistake I made is that like I got a lot of people enrolling and then I got really burnt out. 
because it's private coaching. Like, this is time. Car is closing and people see it opens right after. Yeah, don't do that. So, like, now I also have a boundary of, like, I'm not taking more than four clients, new clients per month. Like, I can't do more than that. I was, I was burnt out, right? So, no fake scarcity. Like, real scarcity. You have a week to decide. You send them two more videos. You send them reminders. Even the reminder is, like, hey, there's 12 hours left to buy. The first part of the email gives value. Every freaking part gives value. And you guys will see this. If you are registered for my webinar, you will see this in action. So if you want to see this in action and get some ideas from me, and well, this is all Frank Kern's amazing content. Or if you have the same countdown clock for everybody. Oh no. Fake scarcity is annoying. Yeah. So check out my webinar. Because I'm going to be adding a shitload of value to your lives and I'm not even attached to the sale. Don't be an infomercial. Yeah. Thank you for typing the link. I'm honestly not... This like last webinar, I really did have a goal be like why is it that's the same price it was yeah i know right i see that a lot too i have no attachment to like if zero people show up to my webinar i will be sad because like i'm i'm really excited to teach some great stuff but like i really i'm not attached i just want to give great value and enjoy this process um and so that's what it would look like and that feels really good rather than hey you just met me, buy my product, buy this, buy that. Like, <laughs> it's just like really annoying. That's when you get unsubscribes, okay? So, I just talked a lot about, I'll, I'll be there, awesome, thank you. Let's get a bit spiritual here, release your attachment. Yes, I, I read a fortune earlier. Real courage is moving forward when the outcome is uncertain. Sales goes so much better with no attachment, yeah. Yeah, so... I'm going to recap everything really quick. So the last two videos are extra content. Yeah, so after the webinar, you are still selling because you made the pitch on the webinar. And so every other interaction you have will remind them of the program or of the product or whatever you're selling, but you're adding value first before you even talk about it again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you. If you want other people to join in, because now you know what I talked about, you know everything I taught, please share it out before I recap. And I'll take some questions while you guys are hearting it up and sharing. Thank you for all the hearts and shares, if you have already. I really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, like, the email afterwards, like, it's, it's literally like a video of me thanking them for showing up on the webinar. Yeah, you send them separately. Frank Kern has a specific schedule. Um, I think it's like, okay, I think this is what it looks like. I think like four days before the webinar, you send a, a video or an email. I, I, I Frank Kern says to do videos, so I did videos. And it's literally me on a PowerPoint slide teaching something. Four days before, and then I think the day before, send another video. These two videos before the webinar is just pure adding value and reminding them to show up to the webinar. And I don't offer replays for my webinar. So it's like live or not. Um... And then at the webinar, I teach for a very long time, I think an hour, and then I pitch for like, I think 20 minutes, and then I do Q&A for, for the rest of the time. I'm usually like, I usually do like two hour webinars. Um, and then so afterwards, immediately like, or I think like immediately afterwards, I send like an email or a video like saying, thank you for joining. I teach them something else with the stuff they've already learned on the webinar. Thank you for sharing, Roman. Um, and then I think a few days later, I send another video teaching them something else. And then when the shot, when the cart is going to close, I send them uh, emails to remind them like, hey, 24 hours left, but I, I'm still adding value first. Like I'm teaching them something first and then saying, hey, 24 hours left. Hey, 12 hours left. Hey, there's like one hour left. But it's not pushy because I'm still teaching. I'm still giving value until the shop, the, the thing closes. I answer questions, I get on the phone with people, whatever whatever it takes for them to make the decision. Or like some people, like, it was like this isn't a good fit for me. I'm like, okay, so maybe this instead will be a good fit for you. Like, what are you looking for? Yes, hashtag Roman rocks, he does, he does. So, I'm gonna recap. Here we go. <laughs> so, um, today's topic, five tips to setting up a sales funnel that sells. This is day five of the 10 days of free content. Create a website that works in six weeks or less. 
without tech overwhelm. That's my webinar in five days. So sign up at this link. You can screen cap it. Thank you for posting it there. And so this is for, um, so I help holistic entrepreneurs and coaches build a thriving online business without tech overwhelm. And a lot of the complaints I hear is that like, I don't know where to start with a sales funnel. I think it's too pushy. Like I'm scared of selling. I don't know what a sales funnel is. So three keys to this. Think of it as a journey, number one. More of like a, I'm connecting with someone. I'm building and nurturing a relationship. And then I'm offering my value. And I'm offering my service in exchange for money. Energy, energy, value, value, right? So you want to be clear on what is the purpose of the sales funnel? Is it to get them on a, on a phone call for a free strategy session? Is it for a webinar? Is it for a product? Is it for a coaching program? Like be clear about that. And then be clear on what small actionable um value can you give them you don't want to overwhelm them you want to just give them like give them small results like if like if you have this pr coaching program to like become an authority in your industry that's a big thing and you start them off with like hey just get 100 facebook followers and they see that result they're gonna be like holy crap that worked that those emails worked like, I, okay this this person's legit this is gonna work if i hire them right so small like there's get get 10 clients in 30 days that's a good one right um so small actionable steps you don't want to overwhelm people you want and that's how you that's how you sell by adding value first you add value and then you say hey if you like that are you interested in this you got to pay for it but they'll be willing to pay for it because if they love your free stuff they'll love your paid stuff right and then keep it very simple Especially because I work with a lot of coaches just starting off, you can make this very, very simple. And the tools I recommend, you can use ClickFunnels, which is 97 bucks a month. Lead Pages has a, a bunch of different paid plans. I don't know them. And then MailChimp is free. And if you want to use their automation, it's 10 bucks a month. And then it, the price does increase with more with as your list builds. But to start off, it's a, a great price. And so three different sales funnels. The first one's very simple, and you're only using MailChimp. You're creating a free PDF, free audio, a free gift to give them. And they they learn about this on a, on a page, a landing page, lead page, whatever. What's important is that you have the opt-in box where you get their name and email address. They give you the name and email address. says, thank you, please confirm your subscription. They confirm the subscription and they immediately get a welcome email. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. This is who I am. This is what I do. Here's what to expect. Then a six hour spam check in. Hey, did you get this? If not, here's the link again. Make sure to check out the, the free gift that I just gave you. The next day you send an email like, hey, what are you struggling with? What are you struggling with when it comes to building a website, to your health, to whatever? Get them to email you. It's the best. I love, love, love when people email me. I love talking to them. Then you send two to three more emails adding value and the format of this for those value emails is what are you teaching why is why should they care why is it so important teach teach it teach a small point give them a small action step that they can complete before they get the next email and then frame the next email like hey this is what's coming up get excited about it because this is going to help you right um and at the end of all of that you can be like hey if you liked all of that let's get on the phone let's connect let me serve you let me support you how can i take you to the next level right so that's one simple sales funnel just using mailchimp 10 bucks a month and whatever website web page squarespace wordpress whatever you have simple and squarespace links with mailchimp so squarespace will create the opt-in box for you easily second sales funnel is for like a product so you can do and all of these you can do facebook ads to the free gift or uh just post it on social media go to in-person events whatever you want to do however you get people to the page awesome so people get to this page for the free gift again they put their name and email address but instead they get sent to another page that sells a small seven to twelve dollar product so first you're teaching something something real quick like while you're waiting for your email here's something else that you can learn and then hey if you want to if you want to like go deeper buy the seven to twelve dollar product right once they buy the seven to twelve dollar product they use that they get your two to three value emails four five six value emails i don't care how many emails you do then you offer a low priced product like ninety seven dollars 175 dollars like something some product right 
that's sales funnel two. Sales funnel three is based on Frank Kern's webinar, ultimate webinar blueprint. Love it. So they show up to register for the webinar for free. They put their name and email address. They click register. It takes them immediately to a page with a video or, or you can like type it out if you want. I don't care. You're teaching something again, but something more comprehensive. Like for me, my webinar is create a website that works. So this one is teaching you how to build your brand. It, it's not exactly creating a website, but it really helps with creating a website, okay? It supports it. And uh, it's priced at three payments of $97. I only offer it, like I'm not offering it this time. I've only offered it for one webinar, okay? So like it's, it, that's the scarcity. Like this is the only time I'm offering it because you're registering for my webinar. So people buy that. It offsets the cost of Facebook ads if that's what you're doing. And then um, they purchase this product and get it immediately. So you're teaching something again, but selling a higher priced product. And then before the webinar, they get two videos, two emails, adding value, preparing them for the webinar, getting them excited, reminding them of them, of the webinar. Um, you can talk about skepticism. Like I teach about tech overwhelm because a lot of a lot of the skepticism and objections I get is is not even about affording me. It's about like, I, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I'm a tech dinosaur. I'm techno lacking. I heard that the other day. I love that one. And so I teach that. I teach, like, and I'm going to teach this in day four how to ease tech overwhelm, but I have more tips and more reframes and more to add to help them prepare for the webinar to show up on my webinar and be like, yes, I can do exactly what Kat's teaching me on this webinar today. Right? Then the webinar is like a lot of content. So they can take the webinar and implement everything I taught and be good. And if they need more help or if they wanna work with me or if they need support or they don't wanna do it alone, I pitch a program, right? And they can get on the, on the phone call with me, they can purchase the program, whatever, right? If they, they still have questions, I do Q&A at the end of the webinar, I'm on email to answer questions, I'm on the phone to answer questions, and after the webinar, I send two more videos teaching more and then reminding them like, hey, you have a week to sign up. I'm only accepting four new clients per month. Real scarcity, real urgency. And then um, reminding them when, this, when the shopping cart closes. So those sales funnels are in order from easiest to more complex. So if you've never done a sales funnel, start with the first one, really, and breathe. Like this is doable, <laughs> okay? So like, just like this, you can take this Periscope and take it in, like this could be a sales funnel. Like if I were selling a product about sales funnel, like let's say I was coaching about sales funnel. It's like, oh, so I've already just spent an hour and 12 minutes teaching, yeah, and breathe, teaching you about sales funnel. Well, so now I'm gonna pitch you about like this product. Uh, I will help you, I will get in there and set up the sales funnel for you for 500 bucks or something, right? Simple, simple. I don't, I wouldn't feel bad selling that to you guys right now. I don't have that, <laughs> but you see how simple it can be. Yes. Breathing is very important because <sighs> this was a lot. You guys, you guys are troopers. Thank you for all the hearts. So yeah, yeah. Breathing is easily forgotten. So how do you like all that? <laughs> Good. This has been great. Awesome. Yeah. Keep it very, very simple. This, 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 like, and yawning. Oh my God. Yeah, I actually, Roman, you're not the only one that like slept all day. Like I started working and then my body was like, I need to rest. So I rested. Perfect. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate all the hearts and all the shares. You guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are quiet. When I was recapping, I was like, these guys are taking notes. I hope I didn't like give you a cramp in your hand. So go here for the replay because I download them onto YouTube. So you'll be able to like fast forward on them too. And you'll also be able to catch the replay for 24 hours. So 10 days of free content. What's up next for tomorrow? Tomorrow is four days to my webinar and we've got my four step method to ease tech overwhelm. You're typing in a Word document. You're so awesome, Roman. But you like, we're gonna talk after this. So I'm probably gonna like <laughs> teach you. I had a call with Roman the other day and I don't remember what your question was. But I started explaining a bunch of things and then I heard like the stress in his voice. So I was like, or you could just keep it simple. Six pages of notes. Wow, you're awesome. That is so cool. 
can you put it in the f files for your Facebook group? That's a great idea. You know what? I'm going to have my virtual assistant do that because I actually, I have her uploading my Periscope replays to the Facebook groups. Oh, the Young Online Entrepreneurs group. My favorite tip from this scope was answering objections in your emails long before you sell. Yeah. And skepticism. Like, can I really do this? Like, is this really possible for me? People are thinking that. Like, why you? So, um, because uh, I have my Periscope replays in my Reach and Make Millions mastermind group. Because I feel like young online entrepreneurs has nothing to do with my business. Like, I'm, like, Reach and Make Millions Mastermind is for, like, my clients and, like, for people that, like, want to learn from me. It has everything to do with my business. Young online entrepreneurs is more kind of, like, 20-somethings connecting and collaborating. So I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, put my business stuff in there. Yeah, so you can, you can go to this link. Yeah, you can go to this link and you'll, like, um, you can search Reach and Make Millions Mastermind, but I also have it on the website. Yeah. Um, so I upload all of my Periscope replays to Reach and Make Millions Mastermind, and I'll actually write down so that my my virtual assistant can add the notes to the because like so there's an uh, if you're in the Reach and Make Millions Mastermind group, there's an album of photos uh, of of like of the titles of my Periscope. So you'll see these ten days in there also, and the link to it. And, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's perfect. That was a great idea. I'm going to write that because I want you guys to have all the notes from the emails too. Awesome. So any questions? Um, cause I know someone asked, uh, the advantage of Squarespace over WordPress. I don't feel like any, uh, tool or product. Oh, no problem. Of course. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any, like, I, I think there's no advantage or like, I don't have a preference. It's just like, I've seen that Squarespace <laughs> value, 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 value. Yes. Yes. Um, so I feel like I've seen my clients who are coaches who don't like technology. They don't need to be the tech expert. They're not the tech expert. They're just starting off in their business. They've, I've had my clients that have tried Squarespace, Wix, Weebly, WordPress. I've been waiting for this. Squarespace is so much easier. Yes. If you're, if you're a coach, you're not supposed to be the tech expert. I don't want you learning WordPress. I don't. I just want you to fucking put something up and start sharing and start coaching, okay? That's all I want. That's all I want for my clients. Create a website that works in six weeks or less without tech overwhelm. You are not supposed to be the tech expert. I am. And I will teach you the free tools, the cheap tools, the easy tools. Okay? You're supposed to be out there helping people. Okay? I'm helping you to help people. I'm helping you to, to change the world. If you don't do no coding, I've said so much time since I've switched. Yeah. Don't let your struggle to make a decision between two options prevent you from taking action. Yes, make a choice and go with it. If you love WordPress then stay on WordPress and use it. But I've seen my clients make a website and start getting clients and start like transforming people's lives easily, quickly. They, like I had this one client, oh my God. I had this one client who hired a developer and worked with him for like a year and was not liking anything. It was on WordPress. She didn't know how to use it. She didn't like what he was creating. And then like he ditched her in the middle of a launch. So she reached out and a lot of people recommended me. She got on the phone. She's like, I'm ready to do the work. She had, and this was in the middle of her, her launch and she was supposed to like sell within the next few days. So many people use, I just can't decide which platform to use and I need to research more to put off what they don't want to do. Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing. When I teach to create a website that works, you create the website, but the first thing is you're out there connecting with people and doing shit. Okay. You're not going to hide behind the computer. Um, so yeah, so she started working with me, I think like on a Thursday and then by Monday she had her entire website, all of her sales funnel, her sales pages, the payment processor, everything set up and she had her first paying clients for her launch. Don't take information in for information's sake. Yes. You see how simple that was? She just switched to Squarespace and it was a breeze, a breeze compared to WordPress. The whole point was she was launching, she, she, she was like needed to like uh, set up a way to get paid online and to start working with people. She set it up simply and it happened. 
I work with self-help addicts, helping people understand that information just for information's sake is not power. Yes. Now breathe. Yes. So, yeah, it's really important to me. That's why I'm, like, getting so, like, uh, so, like, like, uh, I just can't even, like, I just feel like coaches transformed my life. And when they're sitting here saying, I don't know what platform to use. Oh, WordPress is so complicated. Oh, wait, I just need to finish my website before I get clients. I'm like, I need to learn more. I need to research more. I'm like, no. Information is power when it leads to action. Yes. In my program, create a website that works. You actually don't create the website until week four. Because you're doing so much more important work before. Module one is a marketing plan. For you to get out there and start telling people about what you do. Module two is about copywriting, like getting clear on your messaging and start selling, like talking about it and telling people about it and selling. Module three is about tech overwhelm, getting over that shit. Like you're fine. You don't need to be the tech expert. Week four, create the website. People already know about you. People already know about your website. You launch your website. Pe a bunch of people are there. A bunch of people buy and it's all good. Compared to, I'm going to spend a year or two working on my website and then I launch it and it's crickets. Because you haven't, you've been hiding behind the website. The same coaches that are all about making choices and owning them in life become passive with tech. Yeah. Let's change the world already. Yes. Thank you. I'm grateful you're here helping people push past that. Thank you. Building an audience is way more important than a website. Yeah. You don't even need a website. Some, some people come to me. It's like, I need a website. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Social is free and you can grow so much with that. Some people don't even want to be online. And they call me, it's like, I need a website. I need this. I need that. I'm like, are you even excited or passionate about it? Because you just sound really stressed. And it sounded like when you were like going to networking groups and local places and doing speaking gigs locally, you were successful and having a great time. So scale that. Don't come onto the internet world and try to overwhelm yourself. Or if you really do want a website, do it right. Like, start connecting with people. You can't hide behind the website. The website is just another tool to connect with new people and to build new relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And even writing a book, which I'm glad I did, is not the starting point. People have been telling me, you should write a book, cat. I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> what I'm doing is working, so build your tribe first. Yeah, I have, build I have been building my tribe for the past two years three years time flies it's been three years then worry about the website booking course honestly i made a before like reach and make millions i had cat web designs and authentic technology coach and i made the mistake behind hiding of, of hiding behind my website i'm an old person now yes i'm so old i'm 21 don't get me wrong fun, pro fun process but not a good way to start a business going now good night say good night to my mom she's leaving you never stop building a tribe. Yeah. So when I first started, I just built a bunch of websites and I expected clients to magically find me and it did not work that way. I built like six websites that did not work until I built one that did work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big difference. I learned from my mistakes. Okay. Yeah. Don't do what I did. Thank you for posting the link. You can go to sleep. I'm, I'm going to get off. Oh my God. It's almost 930. The courses that teach you how to write a book are not making money from a book, but from courses. Yes. Oh my God. Meta gone wrong. Yes. Yes. I am 21 years old. I dropped out of college, quit my full-time job at AT&T, started my business at 18. I've been doing freelance web design since I was 13. Yeah, this is my life. This is what I love. So I'm going to get off because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like feeling tired. It's time for me to breathe and I need some water. I know, I don't know about you, but like every time, like I think about, like I start working with technology, I need a lot of water. I think there is such a thing going meta too soon. Yeah. Weren't you the one talking about that or was it Regina? And you're crushing it. Thanks. Thank you. I think it was Regina who was talking about it. I get confused between, now I'm getting confused between you, Regina and Hillary. Cause you, you did that, that respawn scope for Regina, I think. If you've never been successful as a coach, don't teach others how to coach both of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I first started, I got certified in coaching and transformational coaching. Regina talked about it the other day. Okay. See you later. Um, I, I, w I got certified in coaching, but then I was like, I don't know how to help people because I feel like I can't 
coach people on coaching or business or relationships. So I was like, I know technology the best. I've been making websites for like, what, almost eight years? God, time flies. <laughs> and we were talking about this yesterday. My mom used to like wake up at two in the morning and find me on my computer and like shut off the internet to get me to go to sleep. And I told her, this is going to be my business. Like, let me do this. <laughs> she totally didn't believe me. Periscope has been the worst. People solely building platforms on how to succeed on Periscope. Yeah. Like, Zach's buckler is awesome because, like, he he built his... He, he did Periscope. He got really great at it. Then sold it. Same thing with Facebook ads. Since you were 13 or 14... 13. There you go. Mom has the answer. 13 years old. I would be doing two things. Playing World of Warcraft. No, three things. Playing World of Warcraft. On Photoshop, doing graphic design and website design. And building MySpace layouts for other teenagers that didn't know how to code or are learning how to code. But he succeeded and had results before. Exactly. Exactly. He succeeded in that. I wish I had that much focus back then. I would wake up at 6 in the morning and go to sleep at like 3 in the morning. like or And not eat all day. I had really bad work-life balance. <laughs> I need someone like you in my life. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. Aw, thank you. Yeah, MySpace. That was way longer for me. Yeah. So I got certified in coaching, uh, transformational coaching method by Holistic MBA, which is based on NLP. And I was like, let me coach on technology, right? Yeah. I was paired up with two other people. And we had the best MySpace layouts ever. It was like a business. It was literally a business. Like we had clients. We had wait lists. We had requests. <laughs> I think I still have mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would always change my my songs. I love Holistic MBA. That's that's they started me on my path to my business. I've taken every one of their courses. TCM certification, TCM mastery. I've gone back as an alumni to almost every retreat. Breathe, drink water and go have dinner, right? Yeah, I love my business so much and I'm still on here an hour and a half later. Thank you. Uh core, spotlight, 10 and 30, become a health coach. You start mastery in February. That's going to be so much fun. Did you just do the certification retreat? Because I know they have a retreat in January. I might be going. I just went to this last mastery retreat in Atlanta. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to be there. You'll meet me. You'll see me there. Okay, we'll meet. Go Come, come find me. Because like after a flight, I'm like gone. Hi, style me pretty. Let me see. Devon. Okay, I'm going to learn all of your names. Devon is style me pretty. So, um, yeah, this is the end. Yeah, 15 minutes. Talk about an hour and a half. <laughs> you missed all the content. It was a lot. An hour and a half worth, apparently. So please catch the replay. It was a lot. <laughs> like, ask the people here. <laughs> we're just We're just talking now. Thank you for the links. My mom is like, get off now so I can get off and go to sleep and call you. Oh, you want to call me? Cause she always calls me before bed. Yeah, catch the replay. But if you missed the replay, I have them all here. Really long 15 minutes. Yes, it was good. I'm glad. Roman, I have to call my mom before I call you. Just letting you know. Mommy gets priority. <laughs> all right, guys. So here's the link. Tomorrow's day four. Four-step method to ease tech overwhelm. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm not even going to recap it now because it was so much. And plus, I, I'm going to, I'm probably going to be writing up the notes now. Oh, it's Saturday night. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so, I'm like, I, I heard my friends all leave. They all went to, like, Brickle to, like, have fun. And I'm, like, here at home on Periscope with you guys. And then, like, thinking, oh, it's time for bed now. It's a Saturday night. I need to learn how to be a 21-year-old. Someone teach me. <laughs> My mom is even having wine. She's like, what do you mean go to bed? I'm having wine. Entrepreneur Saturday night, right? Look, I'm going to show you this because I I'm not the only one. I'm in my PJ pants, guys. Okay? Sorry, not sorry. Like, this is my Saturday night. I'm going to write up the notes, send the email. I'm going to stay in my PJs. I can teach you that. You can teach me how to be a 21-year-old. Awesome. This is the life of an entrepreneur. Real talk. Hashtag real talk. This is how it looks like. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for sharing. For all the hearts, once again, here is the link. 
I'm gonna get off. Oh, look, you have a you have a wine partner. <laughs> Roman drinking by myself. <laughs> yeah, I have the whole apartment to myself actually, so I might watch a movie in the living room. Oh wait, sorry, I saw that you guys were taking screenshots here. I I put it back. I know, like when when that was there was a thread of all the young online entrepreneurs being like, I I want to party and, and stuff like that. That's not that does sound really cool. I love you, Matt. Yeah, that's true. I could watch that, but like I don't I don't have the movie on the TV, so I would, it would have to be on my laptop. All right, I think you guys got the screenshots. Let me put it like at the top of the screen so you guys can see that. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for staying this long, you guys. Parting is overrated. Yeah, we're talking about, like, I, I created this group called Young Online Entrepreneurs um, because I felt like my college, like, college students that I live with are cool and they're my age and they have fun, but they don't understand the business thing. And then um, the entrepreneurs and coaches do understand the business thing, but the common thing I hear is, like, I have kids your age, right? So it's kind of like an age gap. So I created this group to kind of, like, mix both, like, so you're a 20-something-year-old and you love business. So it's kind of like a college party, but instead of, like, gossip, we talk about business. And we've got drinks and, excuse me, drinks and laptops. Hangovers and possible, possible jail time. I have only thrown up once from drinking. Once. And it was because I drank too fast on an empty stomach, home alone, in my room. I'm such a loser. <laughs> Your Facebook group is far less obnoxious than groups I'm in full of older adults and far more helpful and inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like you're in your tribe. So I've got two tribes. I've got the Reach and Make Millions with the holistic entrepreneurs and coaches really taking action and doing awesome shit. And then I've got the young online entrepreneurs and we're just, it's so much fun. I posted me drinking a beer last night. Yeah, Roman, that was funny. And I think, yeah, Laura and I were like all capital letters about lightweights. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for joining. This is the end of the scope. You missed a lot of content. Please grab it here. Because I, I, I've been on here for an hour and a half talking about sales funnel. S sales funnels. Five tips to set up sales funnels that sell. And then tomorrow is four days to my webinar. <laughs> so I'm going to go do tech overwhelm. They're not, they're not keeping me here. I'm the one staying here. No, I am not recapping. No. <laughs> Just ask to join my group. Awesome. <laughs> What's funny is like, uh, isn't there this thing where it's like, you people can't make you people can't make you upset. You you allow them. Like you get to choose if you're upset or not. It's not up to them. Went to have dinner and came back. Oh my god, you guys, you guys are too funny. I am getting off. I'm getting off now. Okay. Here's the link. Before you guys distract me anymore, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Thank you for all of the hearts and for sharing. I will catch you tomorrow for probably another hour. Yes, have a great night, you guys, afternoon, wherever you guys are in the world, okay? Bye. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Yep, there's the link. All right, bye.